Tonight on Primary News, we will take a look at what's going on at South River Elementary School. We'll also have a look at some of the new, the new curriculum. Primary News will start in two minutes. What's it like when you hear your calling? Will you ignore it? Or will you listen? What if it calls you to go halfway around the world? To serve people you've never met? What will you do when you hear your calling? Peace Corps, life is calling. How far will you go? Hello and welcome to Primary News. This is the South Holmes River Hawks edition. I'm Giselle. I'm Ryan, and we are host for tonight. Later on tonight, we will discuss our upcoming science fair and the great things the PTO has done for the Hawks. But first, let's take a look at some exciting things going on in our curriculum corner. First graders are writing opinion pieces in language arts. They are really excited to be learning about insects and science. They have been learning about polygons, 3D shapes, coins, and telling time and math. First graders will also have a math challenge game day for parents. Look out for the date in the near future. Mrs. Ritchie's first grade class did an author study on Mo Williams, who writes the pigeon books and elephant and, pig and piggy books. They read all of his books and each wrote a letter to Mo to let him know why they liked him and book and ideas they had for new books. Second graders in Mr. Fender's class created a living wax museum. Students from other classes and stopped in to, cre to meet the creator of Steamboat Willie, shake hands with the president, meet an astronaut, and meet the Queen of England. His class worked very hard researching and impersonating historians. Third graders in Mr. Cheek's class completed their realistic fiction unit. Their stories came out great. Their main goals were to have a good mix of narration and dialogue and to describe important parts of the plot with small actions. Secondary goals were to use figurative language, write with the voice, and show not tell, which is describing a character's action so the reader knows how the character is feeling. In fourth grade, students are reading fairy tales and folk tales. They are also writing fractured fairy tales. In math, they are studying area, perimeter, and fractions. During science, they are learning about force, motion, and magnetism. It is time for us to take a short break, but coming up after the break, we'll have a look at how South Toms River is, is making our kids happier. And we take a look at what is going on in our school. Stick around. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Albert Pujols, and I play baseball. Today, I'm going to bat for kids who need dental care. Every child should be able to eat, sleep, and learn. Well, that's pretty hard to do when you have a toothache. Tooth decay is one of the leading reasons why kids miss school. The American Dental Association Give Kids a Smile program wants to help. Kids cannot be healthy without good dental health. Visit our website and give kids a big smile. Please visit our website at givekidsasmile.ada.org. And fifth grade students are learning about colonial America and social studies. In science, they are learning about energy and motion. They are reading historical fiction books, and in math, they are finding the volume of objects. In art, Ms. Waller had an art show during our spring concert. Students' artwork is being displayed throughout the building. Also, some of our artwork was displayed in the Ocean County Library for Youth Art Month. And 
In technology, Mrs. Burns is teaching first grade students how to use dance mat typing. They have been taught how to use the correct fingers and keys. They really enjoy typing. Second graders will be learning how to use Tagzito, a fun word cloud website to create word displays to go along with their science fair projects. Third graders will continue to use Google Classroom to complete writing assignments. They will also continue to use 10 marks for practicing online math skills. Fourth and fifth graders will be learning about Google Slides and presentations. The third, fourth, and fifth graders worked very hard taking the park test in March. They will continue taking the end of the year park test starting April 27th. Good luck to all of them. In music, Mrs. Lupino and Mr. Burbank put on an awesome spring concert. There were traditional band and orchestra songs. We Will Rock You was highlighted in the band. The chorus had, an, a tr had a traditional and pop songs. Treasure was a big hit. The students really moved and sang their hearts out. Our PTO has been doing some exciting things that, this year. Our book fair had an under the sea theme and the students and teachers worked very hard decorating their under the sea doors to win a box of books to add to their classroom libraries. Also, check out our PTO school, school source, source, store. The school source store will be open the third Friday of each month. Students can purchase stickers, pencil, notepads, bookmarks, spirit wear, yep. bracelets, stamps, keychains, and much more. It's time for us to take a short break, but coming up, up after the break, we will have a look at Sa South Toms River is raising money for those in need. And we take a look at one gym activity that will make you remember the good old days. Stick around, we will be right back. Mini bars right over there, phone if you need to use it, bed, and what is that? Oh, that's a double chin. Uh, the guy who checked out must have uh, lost it just snacking on fruits and vegetables. Have a good stay. Some of our wonderful staff, staff helped our school in participating in the district-wide Relay for Life. The students collected spare coins and there was a very successful Philly pretzel day. Delicious! The Hawks also sponsored a Fun to Be Fit Night fundraiser for the American Cancer Society. Students participated in many fun fitness activities including hula hoops, ring toss, jump rope, and parachute games. Our school raised $1,277.20 for the American Cancer Society. Well done, Hawks! Our science fair is coming up. We will, we will be working hard to present and display science fair projects during our annual science fair. This year it will be held on Thursday, June 4th at 5.30 p.m. throughout the school. Come and take a look at all of our hard work. STRE Hawks are showing kindness. Our, our staff will be looking for special acts of kindness from the students. Certificates will be presented at the PTO meeting as well as summary of the act of kindness the student has shown. Make sure you always, always act in kind. You can make a difference in someone's day. Well, that is the end of our show tonight. Remember, if you have a story you would like to, us to cover, or you have an announcement about an upcoming event, please send it interschool mail to the TV studio at High School East. Or you can email us at tv21 at trschools.com. Also be sure to tune into TV21 throughout the day to catch the show as we bring you stories around the district. Also, please take a look at our website, www.trschools.com tv21. 
For Primary News, I'm Giselle. And I'm Ryan. Have, Have a, a great, great night. night.